Hi guys, it's Liz from Little Homestead on the Hill and today I'm going to teach you guys how to make some homemade butter, so stay tuned. So why would you want to make homemade butter instead of getting it at the grocery store? Well, there's many reasons for it. I do it because I like the taste of it better. It tastes so good. It's so creamy. And I'm not worried, as usual, that there is chemicals that don't need to be there in my food. It's so simple. A lot of times I'll have some, just some heavy cream lying around the house and I don't know what to do with it. So instead of wasting it, I turn it into butter. So let me teach you guys how to do it. So let's go to the food processor. Homemade butter is so simple to use. I use a food processor. Um, that's what I've always used to me. It's just so much simpler. So like I said, you need like two ingredients. You need heavy whipping cream and some salt. Now, if you don't want to have salted butter, you don't have to. You could just not use the salt. So all you're going to do is take your heavy cream and put it in your um, food processor like that. And then turn the lid on it and what I do is I will put it on high and you'll see the difference I'll show you the difference between you to this stage to it breaking down okay we have come to the point now where it's turning kind of like into whipped cream if you can see that so we still want to let this um mix some more see what step we're on now see now it's really getting thick but it's white it's not that yellow right here is you want the milk fats to separate from the buttermilk so that process will come soon so not only do you get butter you actually get the buttermilk that you can use in your recipes um in your baking and there's lots of things that do um require buttermilk so let's spin this some more at it again see it's getting even more and more and more thick so just like that so it's still not there yet okay now I want to sprinkle in my salt so I'm just doing a couple little teaspoons. I'm just measuring it with my fingers and back to high again. And we're done. So the whole process took about seven minutes of mixing it and then probably about 30 seconds to get it to look like butter. Do you see how it turns yellow? And you see all that white stuff? That is your um, buttermilk. Move that over grab a bowl. And we just need something to strain this with. And here we go. Scrape it all out. I'm gonna grab the beater without getting cut. And do you see that? Look at all that yummy butter. So then I'm just gonna take my little satchel and I am just trying to get the buttermilk off the butter. Because this is what makes it go rancid real fast if you don't get all the buttermilk, buttermilk out. So more squeezing. So I'm gonna grab a paper towel and move this over to the side. 
and I'm gonna grab a mason jar and I am going to put this buttermilk in a mason jar this stuff is good so not only did you make butter you got buttermilk as well Clean up our mess. Put a lid on it. And now your buttermilk will be good in your fridge up to a week. So make sure you use it. So the next thing we have here is our butter. So what I do is I take some paper towel, get this out of the way and put that in our washing machine is I'm just trying to pat all of the moisture out. Now at this stage, if you wanted to, you could add, you could add herbs to it. You could do brown sugar, so like brown sugar butter, herb butter. I just like plain butter, because we go through a lot. So I have heavy cream, and two, a pint of buttermilk and homemade butter. Love it. I love doing this all the time. My food doesn't go to waste and we eat it. I mean, I think everybody uses butter nowadays. I do. I don't like, like I said, barely anything with chemicals. So if I can make it from scratch, I rather do that. So, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next. Bye.